This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Chris Ledeen. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Monday, August 5th. We could know as early as today who Vice President Kamala Harris will pick as her running mate. According to reports, she's looking at six people for the role. So far, at least six men, including four governors, a senator, and a cabinet secretary have gotten a call about the job. Harris and her running mate are scheduled to visit Detroit on Wednesday for a rally with UAW members. Voters are expected to head back to the polls tomorrow for Michigan's primary election. The vote decides who's on the ballot for the November general election. One of the biggest races happening is for Senator Debbie Stabenow's open seat. Polls are open from 7 in the morning until 8 at night. Head coach Sharon Moore is one of seven coaches accused of breaking NCAA rules. This comes as the organization prepares to release allegations of Moore's involvement in the notorious sign-stealing scandal. CBS Sports has learned Moore is accused of deleting text with ex-staffer Connor Stallions, who allegedly bought tickets to over 30 games to steal signs. Here's how some on campus are reacting to this development. I don't necessarily think that there's going to be super major impacts on this coming season. Um, you know, it, it might change the narrative frame around the previous season, which I guess, you know, that's, that's, that's a matter of perspective. Former Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh and other staffers are facing charges. You can now get transfer vehicle registration online in the state of Michigan. There are some requirements. Both the buyer and seller must have a Michigan state ID or license. The title has to be from Michigan and on paper, and the vehicle cannot be financed by the buyer. You can find more information on the rules on the Secretary of State's website. Starting this week, Target is offering customers a recycling discount. You can bring used denim to any store and receive a 20% off coupon for new jeans. It's happening between now and August 10th. The recycling is limited to five used items of any brand in the store. It comes following a growing interest in reducing waste. Right now, let's get our next weather forecast for this Monday. Good morning, Troy. Good morning, Chris. Today we are heating up and then we're going to see the chance for some storms. We'll see a couple of waves of rain with some heavier downpours and the chance for some strong damaging wind. We do warm to a high of 87 degrees today before the heaviest rain rolls in with a 50% coverage around noon and then again through the afternoon. So there's next weather future cast showing the rain chances today. Of course, the deeper reds and yellows indicating some of those heavier downpours embedded the chance for some stronger wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour or greater. So there you go at 11 a.m. on our doorstep, then moving into many of our major counties by around noon today and then seeing another round through the afternoon. Then tomorrow morning, we'll see a chance for more of those scattered showers and embedded thunderstorms. There's seven in the morning tomorrow. You see most of us covered up and then on going through 11 noon, even the early afternoon tomorrow and by 4 p.m. tomorrow we get a little break, but still seeing a chance for showers. So a couple of days to deal with rain before we dry it out and we cool it down a little bit behind the front. Ahead of the front, warming considerably today up to 87 in Detroit, going to 80 in Pontiac, but 79 in Lapeer. Early morning temperatures tomorrow will be in the 60s. The next seven days will show a high today of 87, but only 73 degrees on your Tuesday. And then look at Wednesday, looking clear for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with no real rain chances even into the weekend after tomorrow with high temperatures in the upper 70s, Chris, on Wednesday. Back to you. Thanks for that, Troy. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.